Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, y'all? It's your lady Steph. Today is Saturday, um, August 24th, I think. Yeah. August 24th, 2024. Um, I'm still in Ohio. I'm in a town called, well, I'm in a city named Warren, Ohio. It's kind of rural, but then it's not too, too country, but it is. If you're, if you're familiar with Atlanta or Georgia, um, there's a city called Hiram, Georgia. Um, it's kind of like out, like maybe 40 minutes outside of Atlanta. And it's similar to this area, but um, it's not that bad. But anyway, thumbs up the video if you like the content. <clears throat> um, today in this video, I am going to clean out my Toyota Corolla. This is a 2016 Corolla. It has about... Um, 74,000 miles on it, I think. Um, I bought it back in 2019. I'm almost done paying it off. So um, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and uh, wipe down the interior. I already vacuumed out the floor. Let me show y'all the floor right quick. So for those who've been watching my videos and y'all see me in this car, this is my car right here. Um, like I said, it, well, it has 77,000 miles on it. It's about to hit 78 pretty soon. Um, I drove to Ohio in this car. Um, the mileage, the mileage, well, I drove about, it's like 750 miles away from Atlanta. So as y'all can see, this, as y'all can see, my carpet started ripping up because I didn't have a mat on the floor. And basically, I was always coming in and out the car and, you know, rubbing my, rubbing my foot against the carpet. So that's why it looked like that. But I ended up getting some new mats. Um, this is my brown leather seats, okay? As you can see, the interior is very dirty, so I'm gonna clean it out for y'all. Um, hold, hold on a second. <clears throat> All right, so this is the back seat area. I'm just gonna wipe down, you know, wipe down the interior in the back. Um, I'm also gonna clean the windows and um, I'm gonna wash the car. I'll probably wash it in a little while, but I remember, okay. So if y'all been seeing my car a while, a while ago and I had this, I had this advertisement on the back of my car. It said a legit side hustle and had my name, my number. Y'all, I finally had to take that off my car because I had like somebody chase me down the street, call my number, curse me out on my voicemail, okay? It was just some crazy shit. Like, you know, people will call me late at night because they'll see this advertisement on my car. And then, you know, I felt like I was being stalked after a while. So I finally took the um, ad the advertisement off my car, but I'm thinking about putting another one on my car because I have an actual business. And so I want to promote, you know, my LLC on my vehicle. But um, anyway, um, so, you know, this is the back of it. So this is the back of my car right here. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, clean it out. Like I said, um, I had to get new tires. These are my new tires right here. I paid like $700 for some tires from the dealership and I was so pissed off because, you know, I can't afford to just be paying $700 for fucking tires, but I had to do what I had to do. So if it wasn't for me getting new tires and getting my car service in Georgia, um, I wouldn't have been able to drive up here, but um, you know, this is it. So what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna go ahead and do a quick a quick cleaning in the interior. I'll wash the outside later. I'll actually make another clip of me washing the car. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started and here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna show y'all what my car looked like with the banner on the back. So this is what it looked like right here. And this is how it looks now. Um, eventually I'm gonna get all of this, all these like stickers and vinyl off the back of my car. So um, it could be cleaned out, you know, clean this, so it could be clean and clear of all this crap um, that I put on that I put on it like three years ago, back in 2019, I think, or 2020 when I put it on my car. So um, let's go ahead and get the cleaning. All right, y'all. So I'm cleaning up. Okay. Hope y'all can see what I'm doing. I'm just like wiping down the interior. You know, this gives me like, you know, motivation to clean up my car. Cause honestly, I'm gonna keep it real. Like I haven't, um, <laughs> I haven't cleaned out the inside of my car in almost a freaking year. And I ought to be ashamed of my damn self for being so messy, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, I gotta start taking care of my ride. You know what I'm saying? It's, getting, it's starting to get a little bit older. So I'm trying to keep it <clears throat> for a while. 
And um, my goal is to not trade it in. I would never trade in this car because um, I put so much money into it while paying my car note or whatever. You know, um, well, people may want to know like um, how much is my car note. <laughs> um, when I first got the car back in 2019, um, it was about close to $300. And um, I was banking through Wells Fargo and um, had a, I ended up getting in some credit card debt. And it was like, after I had the car for about a good six months, I ended up refinancing my vehicle. Well, I had it for a year. <clears throat> after the year was up, I ended up refinancing my car in like 20, I think 2020 or 2021, I can't remember. So I refinanced my vehicle. I switched it from another bank, well, from Wells Fargo to my credit union. And then um, I ended up having a cheaper car note. It was like maybe 100, it was like 100 and I don't know, $90 from a car note back then. So then my ass got into all this credit card debt a few years ago. And so I had equity on my car and basically I ended up getting a, getting a loan uh, through the equity in my car to pay off a credit card, which I did. I used that money, it was like $5,000. So it was added to my car note, okay? And um, I could have been paid this car off if I didn't get that equity loan. <laughs> so I ended up paying off the credit cards and you know what? I ended up um, freaking getting back in debt. Credit limit was about $5,000. <laughs> so like I said, the bank paid it off, the credit card, but <laughs> I ended up using the cards again and I'm now back in credit card debt. And I, I'm paying down the card now. It's, it's through Discover and the interest rate is like really, really high off. But um, yeah, so like I said, oh, about $6,000 on this car. I think it's like 6,200. I don't remember, but I'm almost there. And um, yeah, like it's hard. You would think that um, being on social security, you know, you can't get a car. Um, that's not true. You can get a car on disability. You know, don't let nobody tell you you can't. Like, you can do anything you put your mind to. Um, the way I had got my car was like, when I first, um, okay, I had a car before this. If you watch my older YouTube videos, y'all would have seen that I had a 96 Saturn SL2. And it was like a 96. I got it back in 2011. Um, I got it from the dealership. <laughs> And um, I had got it when I first got my disability check back in like 2011. So <laughs> back then, <clears throat> you know, I used the money, you know, you get the back pay or whatever. So I used that money to get a beat up car and it lasted for like a good seven years, 11, 12, 13, 14. Yeah, that, it lasted for seven years and I was really shocked. <laughs> but I, it had so many problems, like the window wouldn't go down, you know, the doors was messed up, like, my, uh, my my seats were ripped up in the car. It was just an old car. The AC didn't work. The radio didn't work. So, you know, you basically get what you pay for. So, um, anyway, um, the car ended up just breaking down. And um, I couldn't drive it anymore. So, the junk, what is it? The car company, well, you know, the companies that buy cars, like, for cash, <laughs> they end up giving me some money for it. So, I used that money. Um, to start saving up for this car and um i had to move back to my mom's house you guys already know the story about me moving out of my section 8 apartment <laughs> and moving back home with my mom so i did that for like a good i stayed with my mom for like a good three years so when i was staying with her she told me that i could stay with her and save for save for save up for another car which i did so basically once I saved up for another car, um, I ended up getting this car right here. When I first got it, I thought I wasn't gonna be able to uh, pay for the car note. You know, like I said, at the time, you know, this social security was my only income. So I thought I wasn't gonna be able to afford it. So I was, <laughs> I was trying to take it back, but they wouldn't take it back at the dealership. So I just ended up keeping it, you know, and then I ended up, you know, getting like some little side hustles that I was doing back in 19. Yeah, so anyway, that's the story on how I got the car. And uh, like, I was, like I was stating, you know, you could get a car on Social Security. Um, the way I fixed my credit up 
Um, I know I told y'all my student loans were discharged back in like 20, 20, 2018. So, you know, I talk about it in my other videos. I just show y'all how to fill out the application to get your loans discharged. So I went through the process, got approved. Um, the only issue was that when I had got approved for it, my credit was like, like, um, my credit wasn't really bad, but I had a repossession. So I had another car back in 2011. Right before I got on disability, I had a 2007 Toyota Yaris. And um, that car got repossessed after I ended up losing my job and, you know, getting sick from my, you know, my health and stuff. So that car was repossessed. And, um, you know, it was like seven years. Um, you know, they keep a, they pretty much keep your, um, it was a judgment filed against me because of the car. So they pretty much, um, you know, put it on your credit that you have a repossession. So I couldn't, I couldn't get a car, you know, I couldn't do nothing because my credit was bad, it was bad. So after the seven years were up, I filed a dispute um, on my credit report. The car ended up getting removed off my credit. So, um, yeah, I started fixing my credit. You know, I started applying for like credit cards and all that crap. And um, basically, I had got approved for a Capital One. I forgot, it's like a starter, it's like a card, um, a secured credit card where you put money down on it and you pay it back. The credit limit was like $200. So it wasn't too much I could do with it, but I would spend like maybe 20 or $30 and just pay it back. And I was doing it for like maybe a year. And so <clears throat> once I did that, my credit score started going up and that's how I got this car. So yeah, um, that's pretty much the story, you know? So anybody that's like on disability and y'all looking to get a car, Hold, I'm gonna move the camera up right quick. <clears throat> oh yeah, okay, so y'all can see me better. So yeah, anyway, so, you know, if you go through that program, the, the student loan discharge program, um, if you're on disability, you can get your loans discharged if you just follow follow the video that I made, go to the um, student loan, go to the, the website. I keep telling y'all about and you know y'all ask me a lot of questions about it but if you just fought the application and call the number um that's on the website uh you pretty much can um you know get your loans dismissed you know i had two people that i know um i helped them with the application the process and they got the they got their loans discharged and also there was two people that watched the same video that I told y'all about, like some just people on YouTube, and they got their loans in charge. They told me thank you, you know, in a message on Instagram. Um, they privately messaged me, and you know, like I'm just here to bless people that's you know disabled. You know what I'm saying? Like, hell, if you can't work and you can't, <laughs> if you can't get a job, you know, and you are medically like um, unstable, maybe I should say. Like, you might as well just get your loans dismissed. If there's a program that um, can do it for you, and, you know, you went to school and I took out all these freaking student loans, and you can't pay it back because you're sick, why not apply? I mean, you either get approved or you don't. And if you don't get approved, they'll tell you why, and then you can reapply again. So, y'all can do it, you know what I'm saying? So, that was pretty much how I fixed my credit and all that. And, um... Like I said, the video is on YouTube. Um, oh, it's still recording. Okay, so I might cut out some of this video because it's gonna take me a while to clean out my car. And I don't want the camera to keep like running. And then the, then the, um, what do you call it? Then the, um, then the memory goes, <laughs> the memory goes out on my, um, on my phone. So anyway let me get to cleaning and then i'll be back and i'll show y'all what it looked like after it's done okay so this is what it looks like now that i wiped it down okay i know it's still kind of like in there and the cup holder is still dirty but the vacuum i couldn't get the vacuum to vacuum out that part but this is it it's nice it's nice and clean in the inside um so now i'm about to wash the car and um i'll be back 
Okay, so I'm getting ready to do a quick wash. I'm gonna clean the tires. I actually got some, um, what is it? I got some of the, um, I can't find the stuff. Oh, <clears throat> so I got the, um, this is the, the, this is the rag I'm gonna use. And then this is the wheel and tire spray. Um, I've already used the all purpose cleaner to clean out the interior. I also have some glass wipes. And then I have some, um, what is this, some soap to wash the car. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna show you all a little bit of footage and I'll be back. And I meant to add that I haven't washed the car in years. So, you know, I usually take my car through the car wash. Um, you know, I drive it through the, um, the car wash and wash it that way. So I'm actually, you know, doing the regular way of washing the car because I really don't wanna spend money on getting my car detailed and all that stuff. So um, let me go ahead and put the soap on it and I'll be back. Okay, so I just put some water on it and now I'm about to put the soap on there. And then after that, I'm gonna rinse it off and then I'm gonna shine the tires up and then that's pretty much it. Okay, y'all, so um, I just got finished cleaning my car out. I actually forgot to show y'all of me washing the car. But I'm gonna show y'all what it look like now. So here we go. Okay, so as you can see, those are the tires. I thought this uh, tire spray was gonna actually shine my tires, but it didn't. So this is what it looks like. Um, it's nice and clean, clean now. So that's what it looks. And yeah, it's pretty much it. So um, this is the end of the video. If you like it, please thumbs up and subscribe. Okay, so if you like the video, make sure you thumbs up and subscribe. I'm about to um, start my day. And with that being said, thanks for watching. Bye.